Early analysis of the asteroid Bennu sample returned by NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission has revealed dust rich in carbon, nitrogen, and organic compounds, all of which are essential components for life as we know it. Dominated by clay minerals, particularly serpentine, the sample mirrors the type of rock found at mid-ocean ridges on Earth. The magnesium-sodium phosphate found in the sample hints that the asteroid could have splintered off from an ancient, small, primitive ocean world. The phosphate was a surprise to the team because the mineral had not been detected by the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft while at Bennu. Scientists have eagerly awaited the opportunity to dig into the 4.3-ounce pristine asteroid Bennu sample collected by NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission since it was delivered to Earth last fall. They hoped the material would hold secrets of the solar system's past and the prebiotic chemistry that might have led to the origin of life on Earth. An early analysis of the Bennu sample, published June 26 in Meteoritics and Planetary Science, demonstrates this excitement was warranted. The OSIRIS-REx sample analysis team found that Bennu contains the original ingredients that formed our solar system. Analysis of the Bennu sample unveiled intriguing insights into the asteroid's composition. Dominated by clay minerals, particularly serpentine, the sample mirrors the type of rock found at mid-ocean ridges on Earth, where material from the mantle, the layer beneath Earth's crust, encounters water. This interaction doesn't just result in clay formation. It also gives rise to a variety of minerals like carbonates, iron oxides, and iron sulfides. But the most unexpected discovery is the presence of water-soluble phosphates. These compounds are components of biochemistry for all known life on Earth today. While a similar phosphate was found in the asteroid Ryugu sample delivered by JAXA's Hayabusa 2 mission in 2020, the magnesium-sodium phosphate detected in the Bennu sample stands out for its purity and the size of its grains, unprecedented in any meteorite sample. The finding of magnesium-sodium phosphates in the Bennu sample raises questions about the geochemical processes that concentrated these elements and provides valuable clues about Bennu's historic conditions. The presence and state of phosphates, along with other elements and compounds on Bennu, suggest a watery past for the asteroid, said Dante Loretta. The team has confirmed the asteroid is rich in carbon and nitrogen. These elements are crucial in understanding the environments where Bennu's materials originated and the chemical processes that transformed simple elements into complex molecules, potentially laying the groundwork for life on Earth. These findings underscore the importance of collecting and studying material from asteroids like Bennu, especially low-density material that would typically burn up upon entering Earth's atmosphere, said Loretta. This material holds the key to unraveling the intricate processes of solar system formation and the prebiotic chemistry that could have contributed to life emerging on Earth. Dozens more labs in the United States and around the world will receive portions of the Bennu sample from NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston in the coming months. And many more scientific papers describing analyses of the Bennu sample are expected in the next few years from the OSIRIS-REx sample analysis team. The Bennu samples are tantalizingly beautiful extraterrestrial rocks, said Harold Connolly. Each week, analysis by the OSIRIS-REx sample analysis team provides new and sometimes surprising findings that are helping place important constraints on the origin and evolution of Earth-like planets.